what board policy or bylaw is this item being considered? Because it states that the board members will provide the board president and superintendent with direction whether or not the below items should be brought back as action items on a future board agenda. So my question, my inquiry is, what is being presented here does not exist in any of our current board bylaws and policies. You need to provide an explanation as to next steps in this proposal. This is actually not covered in our bylaws and policies. So what you're really asking for, and as Mr. Everhart stated on June 25th, this is actually a board policy change. And so in order to do that, you need to form it in the, in the uh, presentation of a board bylaw, either the addition of or an amendment to, and it's not currently covered by any of our bylaws. Ms. Hanson, this isn't a change to any board bylaw. We are not changing any um, board policy, nor are we changing um, there's a number of board policies, as you've been informed, that address the way that the um, agenda is configured. The, um, this is not a change to any board bylaw. The board president and superintendent are still vested with the authority to set the agenda. This is simply a way to um, achieve some sort of transparency concerning the um, board's um, willingness to consider agenda items without violating the Browning. Mr. Rowland, it needs to be phrased as a as a proper formal procedure. And I'm not saying you can't enhance a bylaw and you can't add an additional procedure, but you need to actually not make that a casual informal presentation, but actually write it up as a procedure. Uh, are you asking that, us whether or not we, that there, are you trying to establish some board consensus as to whether or not any of the items, items one through nine, I believe, if there's any consensus to place any of those items on